Well, hello, YouTube. This is Captain Dave Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida, in the wolf den. I was always searching around for a tool. A tool. T O O L. That you would think is the simplest thing in the world. You know, I here's an example of one. I picked this up. I think I might have got this at Harbor Freight. Okay, this is Torx's. Torx's, a T5, a T6, a T7, a T8, T9, a T10, and a T15. It's just some little cheap tool, little Pittsburgh. That's just to adjust the pivots and on knives. And, you know, you get into a lot of these knives. Here's, uh, you know, my Essie Avispa. And, you know, it's just covered up in torques. Right? Like right there. That fits that one, believe it or not. I just... Does that fit right there? I don't know. Either way. But it's covered up in torques. You got little torques bits. Look at all those. Torx, 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 right? So, this was, this is a handy little tool to have all your torx bits all in one place. They also make this a same kind of tool, and I mean, it is so common that they're like Allen wrenches, right? Folded up like Allen wrenches. I've got two or three of them in my toolbox. And I was thinking, you know, I'm constantly, constantly reaching for a screwdriver. How simple can that be? I want a screwdriver and I like want it on me. And I'm not. I'm an anti-multi-tooler. I don't want a multi-tool. A multi-tool seems to be everything a little half-assed, okay? You got kind of a half-assed knife, a half-assed pair of scissors, a half-assed wrench or something, whatever. You know, pliers. Every multi-tool I've ever had, I've just totally destroyed it. So, on that same note, I wanted something that had multiple screwdrivers. And you will not believe how hard I had to look to find a folding screwdriver set. I even told people at Harbor Freight, uh, Northern Tool, all these little tool story places, right? You got hex heads of every conceivable size. You've got some torques of every conceivable size here. You've got multi-packs of them. I said, how come these god dang companies, same company, doesn't offer it in screwdrivers? I mean, think about it. Okay, if I made scissors, I got Dave's Scissor Company. But this is the only size scissors or the only kind of scissors I make ever. Boy, am I limiting the living hell out of my business. But I had to search high and low. You look all over Amazon. You look all over Amazon and you find all this gidgy gadget crap out there. And every multi-tool under the sun, if you type in folding screwdriver set well i found a bunch of them believe it or not not bunch but i mean a, a handful on ebay i mean of all places and coming from all parts of the country and i got this one called gorilla grip fold up tools by bond Haas. i mean is it killing them to make this 
and a set of Allen key, folding Allen keys or Torxes? No. But why is it that I had to search high and low? I can't go to Home Depot. I can't go to Lowe's. I can't go to Harbor Freight. I can't go to Northern Tool and find any of this. Is it just Jacksonville, Florida? Is this place as bizarre a world as it comes? Why can't I find that in this town? I don't know. Do I have to stop at a garage and, you know, check a snap-on tool or something or a Matco? I bet you they don't even have it in their goddamn trucks. Which, I mean, you could tell I'm a little irritated. I just can't believe how you can't find stuff in today's world easily. It's... So, yeah, I did eventually find, like, one set. And it's, this was, I think, the first one I found. It's a five-piece fold-up uh, screwdriver, a number one and a number two Phillips with an eighth, three-sixteenths, and quarter slotted screwdriver. So there you go. What is so tough about this? I want this in my pocket. I want to be on my boat. And somebody says, Dave, this handle's a little something a little uh, loose. Or, you know, I I see a screw that seems to be loose. Well, there I go. I'm not building a bridge with this. I just want to tighten some stuff up. That's one. Well, after I got this one, I started really looking around hard because I said to myself, is this really, am I asking for like gold bullion here? And then I found this no-name brand. No-name. It's a little heavier. See this one? It's kind of like pocket knives. This one here don't have no liners or anything like that. But this one does. This came all the way from South Florida. I had to order this. I mean, good God. You know, I hate the internet, like, more than I despise raisins and peas, green peas. I can't stand the internet. I like it, but it it kicks my ass other times because I got to play the website game, okay? Okay. But if you didn't have the internet and you said, geez, you know, I'd really like to have a folding set like I have these hex heads. I'd like to have a folding set of screwdrivers. I wonder where I can find them. You'd never find them. Not if you live in this bizarro world where I'm at. So then I got this one. I picked up another one because this one only has like six or what, no, five tools on it. And this is like, boy, they're touting Gorilla Grip fold-up tools. Yeah, it's only got five of them. Well, how about this this one here? This one's got eight. You got a whole bunch of Phillips heads. I mean, all kinds of Phillips heads. You can see that. What a like a metal liner in it, steel liner. And then you turn around and you've got all kinds down to little tiny, little bit bigger, little bit bigger slotted screwdrivers. I'm just doing this video just to tell you how irate and uh, how frustrated I was. This took, I mean, it took hours and hours of searching right to kind of well, I don't know what you call these I mean they call it fold up tools I kept searching and searching around thinking I could find these at Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware or something I mean you go to Home Depot's website anymore I mean it's like well we don't have shit but we can order it for you Yeah? Well, guess what? I could probably just as soon as order it from someplace else, Home Depot. You can stick it. All right. So, I ended up getting this one. And I like it even better. Because it's got multitudes of different screwdrivers. Again, 
let's say I wanted to carry this with me on my boat. I'm a big EDC guy. You know, I got my everyday carry. It pulls down my AFCO fishing shorts every day. Okay, I carry all kinds of stuff, man. I'm big into preparedness. When I want to need a screwdriver, I'm on my boat. I don't want to have to go digging in the goddamn console, pull out a toolbox, blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit. I want to pull it out. I got this from Dr. Gary, also known as Orowalk. Some goofy sheath from Benchmark or Benchmade. I had to cut the top off of it. It had all this Velcro hoo going on here. And it's got this, what the hell is this? They call that a muley or, I don't know, some kind of stupid clip. Why isn't there just a, why isn't there just one of these on there? I mean, this is on the back of my buck, okay? I don't know what the hell this bullshit thing is here, but... Wow. Dave's newest EDC. So, I just wanted to tell you, you know, not everything is easily available. I mean, I can go to Home Depot, I can go to Lowe's, and I can stick my hands on 50 of these that are hex key wrenches. And you think that company would make a screwdriver set? What the hell is their problem? I'd like to go into the goddamn business of making some stuff that I can never find. I, I think I'd be a millionaire, billionaire, eventually. So this one's lacking. This one was better because it had more tools. And then I found the same people that make all those super duper ones for um, that are stainless steel and they're super heavy and everything. Yeah, they'll give you a th- screwdriver. They'll give you two screwdrivers and a whole bunch of torques and goddamn hex keys, hex heads. I don't need to carry that around. I want screwdrivers. So I just thought I'd pass that on. Internet and all that stuff supposed to be just making your life so absolutely perfectly easy well in all reality it's all more complicated whoever makes these i commend you but why do i have to search for four hours to find it rant over the next one will be we'll be talking about some cold steel knives so i'll see you on the next one